I'm gonna tell you a secret. But first I'm gonna celebrate that with this run I have ran every single day for three years. It feels great that I managed to do this, but I still failed with what I set out to do three years ago. And I will tell you all about that, but before that I'm gonna enjoy this uh, three year celebration run. Three years ago I was on sort of a low point in life. I had been struggling with a heart condition for the last couple of months and had just found out that I have a chronic heart issue, which made me very scared and gave me a lot of anxiety. I think this hit me especially hard because I've always identified as an athlete and I always loved to push my body through training and at this point it was very uncertain if continuing training hard would increase the risks associated with my heart condition. After a couple of months of having this affect so many parts of my life and well-being, New Year's was coming up and I wanted to at least do what I could to set myself off to have an as good year as uh, possible. I thought a good thing would be to set some New Year's resolutions that would motivate me to at least start every day in the best possible way. So my first goal was to go out on a short easy run directly out of bed every single morning for the year. And although I was still struggling with a lot of extra beats in my heart, the doctor said that it was no problem continuing doing easy training like that. And today, three years later, a lot has happened. I still have to do yearly checkups on my heart and although my condition is not uh, going away, for now I'm allowed to train the way I want to. And I'm so happy that I decided to build this daily routine of at least going out for a short run every single day. And I'm sure it has had a great impact on my well-being and especially this last year after becoming a twin dad, having this daily routine in an otherwise pretty hectic life has helped me a lot. One thing that has changed is that I can't go for a run directly out of bed since uh, switching diapers and giving breakfast to the twins of course is the first priority in the morning. But after that is, it has actually been great to get to have company on some of my morning runs from my two favorite human beings. Okay, so this daily running habit has been great and I've probably already talked way too much about it on this channel. But what is it that I failed with then? My goal with this New Year's resolution three years ago was as I said to get a great start into each day. So starting with a run was the first thing I wanted to do. Although I love running, it wasn't always the easiest thing to get myself to do it directly out of bed each morning for a year. But the other thing I set out to do turned out to be even harder and I ended up failing with it after just a month or two. And that thing was to not look at my phone and check social media or emails or do anything on my phone before lunch. Before setting this goal or resolution I started every day with scrolling on my phone like I believe many of us do. And I felt that this was such a bad habit that it didn't do me any good and set me off in a bad way each day. So I wanted to switch that out with running and then stay away from the phone and social media for the first part of the day. And I'm a pretty goal driven person that often when I set out to do something I make sure that I make it happen. So that I still failed with this and couldn't keep away from my phone the first part of the day I think says a lot of how powerful and addictive this thing is and all the apps uh, on it that are designed to keep you hooked and give you those dopamine hits without you putting in any effort. So why am I sharing this with you and not only talking about how I managed to run every day for three years and how happy I am with that? I think I wanted to talk about this mainly for myself and because I want to change things. I admit that I'm addicted to this thing and that I didn't manage to limit my usage of it although I tried is proof that it controls me and is taking over my life in a way. 
And part of why I wanted to talk about this is because I know that I'm not uh, alone. I think this is something all of us have to struggle with and learn to cope with. After having kids and seeing them grow up a little bit for each month, I have become very aware of how the time passes and how limited the time we get to prioritize the important things in life are. And I'm terrified of waking up one day being 90 years old wondering why I wasted so much on my life looking at uh, this screen. So this is what I'm going to do to try to fix my failure. The first thing I'm gonna do is to once again not use my phone at all during the morning. So I'm doing a new attempt at this and if I manage to remove phone use completely from my morning habits I think it's great and together with a morning run I think it will help me to start every day in the best possible way. But how do I plan to succeed this time? More on that on point 3. The second thing I'm gonna do is to remove apps that take up time but don't give me any particular value. So I have already removed some of the social media apps that I don't think give me any positive value but still are easy to get hooked on. The apps I removed are Instagram, TikTok and Facebook. I'm not saying these apps are bad for everybody, you might find them super valuable in a different way, but at least for me I don't learn things and don't get motivated by these apps and after using them I just feel empty and have remorse for the time I have wasted. The third thing I'm implementing this year that's probably the most important thing, at least for me, is to accept the struggle. Uh, it will be super important to accept that this will be hard, that I might fail, but I'm not going to fall victim to the what the hell effect, which I did last time I tried. Which basically means that if I fail with this one morning and start looking at the, the phone, I thought now I failed so I can just uh, continue using it and do the same thing tomorrow. I'm also accepting that working on not letting social media apps and technology take over my life will be a lifelong challenge. Either you admit it or not, I think this is universal for all of us. That if we want to be a part of the modern society, there's always going to be a struggle with finding the balance where you can use technology for all the great benefits it has without it starting to take over your life. If you manage to limit your phone use, you'll also get more time that you can spend doing things you love, like going for a second run. If you want to learn more about how to implement a strong daily habit, you can click here. Train smart, have fun, and I will see you in the next video.